Hello everyone, I am Gyan and you are watching the second session of Java and Web, Variables, Data Types and Operators. In this video, we will learn about decimal, binary, octal and hexadecimal representation of integers, means whole numbers. From your high school studies, you must know that number systems are the ways to represent the quantities. To represent an integer means whole number quantity in the computer, we commonly use four number systems with different bases. Quantity 23 gets represented as 2, 3 in the decimal number system with base 10. In the decimal number system, we use symbols 0 to 9 to represent a quantity. We are habitual of the decimal number system. Actually, we think in the decimal number system. The same quantity 23 gets represented as 1011 in the binary number system, whose base is 2. In the binary number system, we have only 0 and 1 to represent all the quantities. Same quantity 23 gets represented as 27 in the octal number system with base 8. And same quantity 23 gets represented as 17 in the hexadecimal number system with base 16. Computer stores everything in 0 and 1 format. So computer understands only binary numbers. Does not matter it is image, movie, PDF, Java program, bytecode or executable files. Computer stores everything in the binary format. But don't worry. Binary numbers can be easily converted in the other number systems. Although we are habitual of the decimal number system, we think in the term of decimal number system, but let's check how the decimal number works. A formal look on the decimal number system makes us able to understand other number systems. As we know that the decimal number system has base 10. Base 10 means we have 10 different symbols to represent various quantities from 0 to 9. The counting in decimal number system goes like this. First we count in single digit like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then we run out of the symbol. Then we start counting in the two digits. First we start it with 1 like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Then after we start the two digit number with 2, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. When our counting comes to 99 then we must have to shift to three digit counting and we start counting from 100, 101, 102 like that. What I am telling you about decimal number is very obvious, but this will help you understanding other number systems. Each position represents a specific power of the base. For the decimal number system, base is 10. The digit at right hand side is called the least significant digit. Here 4 is the least significant digit. Changing the digit 4 changes the number by 1. The rightmost digit is called the unit place of the number or least significant digit of the number. Least significant digit represents 0th power of the base. Here base is 10, so least significant digit represents 0th power of the 10. Changing the digit 2 changes the number by 10. This digit represents the 1 power of the base. Changing the digit 0 changes the number by 100. So this digit represents 2 power of the base. Finally, changing the digit 1 changes the number by 1000. So this digit represents 3 power of the base. The digit 1 is called the most significant digit because changing it changes the number most among all the 4 digits of the number. If we sum all the digits multiplied by corresponding weights, we will get the number again. Here 1 is the most significant digit and 4 is the least significant digit. Now let's see the binary representation of integers. As we know that binary number system has base 2. Base 2 means we have only two different symbols to represent various quantities, 0 and 1. We count in binary number like this. A digit in binary number is called bit. Don't say it digit. If you are representing the number as a binary number, don't say it digit, say it bit. First we start with single bit and we write 0 and 1. Then after we run out of symbols. So we start with 2 bits and we have written 1 0 and 1 1. Then after we run out of 2 symbols. So we have to start with 3 bits. And after writing 1 1 1, we are running out of 3 numbers also. That's how we count in the binary numbers. Because the same representation of the number 1 0 1 1 can be represent different quantities in different number systems. So here it has been specified that the number 1011 written here is the binary number. Here we will say 1011 are the 4 bits of this binary number where this one is the least significant bit and this one is the highest significant bit. Again each position represents a specific power of the base and if we sum all these bits multiplied by corresponding bit we will get the decimal number corresponding to this binary number. We multiplied this one by 2 to the power 0. We multiplied this one by 2 to the power 1. We multiplied 0 by 2 square. 
we multiplied this one by 2 to the power 3. After summation, we got 11. 11 is the decimal quantity represented as 1011 in binary. This is octal representation of integers. As we know that octal number system has base 8. Base 8 means we have 8 different symbols to represent various quantities from 0 to 7. The counting in octal number system goes like this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and we run out of all symbols. Then after we start counting in 2 octal digits. In the case of octal representation of integer, don't say digit, don't say bit, say it octal digit. So after running out of symbols, we must have to start counting in 2 octal digits. We counted 1011121314151617 1, 1, 1, 1, then again we run out of symbols and we have to start counting like 2021222242425262627 like that we reach to 7172737475767677 but after 77 we run out of two octal digits counting and we have to start counting in three octal digits and this is how we count in octal because the same representation of the number 1367 represents different quantities in the hexadecimal and octal number system. So here it has been specified that the number 1367 is in octal. Here we will say 1367 are the 4 octal digits of this number. 7 is the least significant octal digit and 1 is the most significant octal digit. Each position represents a specific power of the base. So 7 represents 8 to the power 0. If we sum all these octal digits multiplied by corresponding weight, we will get the decimal equivalent to this octal number. So 759 in decimal is represented as 1367 in octal. In Java, octal number system is only valid for integers, not for the fractional numbers like float or double. Here it is hexadecimal representation of integers. As we noted, hexadecimal number system has base 16. Base 16 means we have 16 symbols to represent various quantities from 0 to 9 and then A to F. A to F can be capital or a small letter, means either we can write a small a to a small f or capital A to capital F. The counting in hexadecimal number system goes like this. In hexadecimal number system, instead of saying a digit, bit, you say hexadecimal digit. So don't say digit, don't say bit, say it hexadecimal digit. So first we have to start with one hexadecimal digit. We started counting like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F and then we run out of symbols. After that we started counting in two hexadecimal digits and we counted like 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3 and goes up to 1, F. Then after we started counting like 2, 0, 2, 1. How we count in decimal numbers same way we have to count in binary, hexadecimal and octal numbers. Only total number of symbols are different in different number systems. Here we will say 1, 8, A and B are 4 hexadecimal digits of this number. Each position represents a specific power of the base. If we sum all these hexadecimal digits multiplied by corresponding weights, we will get corresponding decimal number. Means 6315 in decimal represented as 1, 8, A, B in the hexadecimal. In Java, hexadecimal number system is only valid for integers, not valid for fractional numbers. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.